<laughs> what's going on weeders so we're getting ready to head into transition here so we're going to make a seed sprouted tea which is uh, perfect to head into transition with because it's got all the growth hormones you need it's full of nutrients it's freaking got calcium phosphorus potassium uh, magnesium it's loaded with uh, amino acids and proteins and uh yeah, it's just full of vitamins. You can't you can't go wrong when you're building a seed sprouted tea as you're going into a transition. This is the most important time to actually add a seed sprouted tea to your <clears throat> to your garden is right right at the beginning of the transition. So here we go. This is actually my first seed sprouted the tea seed sprouted tea this season, and uh, you could do this all through veg. And you can do it into flour and through flour as well. But uh, so what I got here is I got some garbanzo beans. And I got the extra bonus. I actually got mycelium growing <laughs> in my garbanzo bean sprouts. I've got barley. Lots of alfalfa. And corn. <clears throat> popcorn. But my popcorn didn't sprout so well. I was using a... Uh, with Orville Redenbacher's or whatever it is, <laughs> organics popcorn, and uh, kind of a failure. I started actually started this last Friday. <clears throat> Today is Thursday. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Today's Thursday. I started this, the the barley, two days ago. Same with the alfalfa sprouts. And the garbanzo beans I started on Saturday. So, I don't know if no Sunday. So anyways, so we've got a blender. Put some water in it already. Out of the Brita. I'm using filtered water. So let's start with the uh, garbanzo beans. So we're just going to put them in here. Get in the blender. I think it's cool that I got mycelium. Mycelium is great for the soil as well. So we've got water. And garbanzo bean sprouts. Get in there. There we go. Put the lid on. Power it up. Chop that shit up. Do that, and then what I do from here is I'll take my beans, and I got down here I got a five gallon bucket and a strainer. Son of a bitch. So we'll just let all that strain on through, all your goodness. Is going to go right into the bucket and that's what you're going to use in all the uh the coarse stuff it stays on top it goes into the compost pile or you can put it in your beds and let the worms eat it but uh one thing i will warn you guys if whatever you're putting in your beds anything that didn't get chopped up real good is going to end up growing in your beds especially the corn also, great thing for seed sprouted teas is uh, you can buy these lids on Amazon. Just uh, bean sprout lids or whatever, or uh, seed sprouted tea lids, germinating seed lids, I don't know. But you can get these on Amazon, and they're cheap, and they work great. So, uh, anyways, while the beans are going there, put some more water in here. Uh, let's do uh let's do barley next so we'll put some barley oh this is gonna be harder get this out shaking it shaking it shaking it it's coming out I wish I knew how to edit 
if I could edit, this would be so much easier <laughs> and so much shorter. All right, got the barley all out. Another great growth stimulant for plants is barley. The enzymes, <clears throat> the gibberellins or whatever they're called. I can't remember. I, I'm terrible. But uh, it's also, it's got phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, amino acids. And uh, it's great for your roots. So that's what we use barley. It's great for your root mass. So here we go. Fire it up. Holy crap, this is like a commercial for Jim Beam. Hold on. Let's put the Jim Beam bottle over here. All right, here we go. Barley's done. I'm gonna dump this other stuff. All right. Got a bowl. Let me shake the garbanzo beans out. I think I'll be using mung beans again from the now on. I just got better sprouting out of the garbanzo beans. I mean out of the out of the mung beans. There's the sauce. And here we go. Here comes the barley. But all that young growth is what you want. Those sprouts. Just like uh, we find that my eating microgreens and stuff is more nutritious and healthier <clears throat> than eating the grown plant. The microgreens are actually healthier. It's the same for your plants when you're feeding your plants. In. Add some water. We'll do some corn. Probably the most important, and you got to be careful with your alfalfa sprouts. Now I'm actually going to pour all this into a 50-gallon drum of water. You know my watering tank outside, so I'm not. This is not too much, but if you're, you got to be real careful with the uh, alfalfa sprouts because they will burn your plants if you put too, if you get too much in there. Now I don't know if I'm going to get this out. so packed in here I actually started this was only about maybe a third of seeds and this thing filled all the way up I'm gonna set this down real quick 
and I scoop this into the jar. Wow, it's just thick. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not gonna get all these out of here. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This is taking longer than I thought it was going to take to get out of here. Alright. So there it is. That's a lot of alfalfa. Put the water. Now alfalfa is great for uh, node spacing, nice tight node spacing. It's also great for roots, and root mass. <clears throat> it's high in nutrients. And it's probably the most important thing you can put in for the transition is right here. Up. Like I was saying, if you were going to do this and you just had a couple plants, you would not want this much seeds. If, if you were doing this in a five gallon, just you use it sparingly. Use half as much as, as everything else. But I'm going to the huge tub of water, 50 gallons, so I'm not going to be worried about this. Here we roll. <laughs> Tricontinol, right here. Boom. Pour it in. Look at all that goodness. We got corn, we got barley, alfalfa, and garbanzo beans. And the worms are gonna love this stuff. The worms in the compost pile, the worms in the beds. Get all this out of this, shake it around, drain it all out. All right. You especially, you don't want these alfalfa. You don't want these seeds in your pots. So do your best to try to get the alfalfa out of your pots. All right. Let's take this super juice to the garden. A long video. <laughs> Here we roll. Head it out to the water and den. So that's how you make a seed sprouted tea. And when you get it done, and there's just not that much. Dump it in. <laughs> 